Hey y'all, so it is pretty gross today in DC. Um, not at all a good day to go out for a walk, but I'm gonna go out for a walk nonetheless because I am pretty deep in my feels about some stuff these past few weeks and um, feeling like a walk would do me some good and hey, why not uh, share some of those thoughts with you as I'm on that walk. Drex here from Drex Factor Poise, sharing with you the love of poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And this is definitely gonna be one of those videos that focuses more on the brain. But before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Fire Mecca, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing businesses and what they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. And special thanks to non-business friends of the channel, Johnny Howard, Lane Machinsky, and Becca Becklinen. Thank you all so very much for your support for my work and my mission. All right, so full disclosure, this is not actually the video that I thought I was going to be sharing with you all today. Um, I actually did shoot a video last week that was all about uh, why I'm not doing the Poi Top 10 list this year and um, connected together some dots about some observations that I've had about uh, flow arts culture in the past few years. And I don't think the video is very good. Like, don't get me wrong, I go and visit a very beautiful place and share it with all of you, which I think is great. And, you know, the ideas behind it, I think, are good. And definitely, like, it touches on something called the validation economy. Um, I did not come up with that word, but it's a great one for it that has been kind of swimming around in my head for years now that I really wanted to expound on at some point. But I think that was maybe the wrong place to do it in. But it's also part of what's turned out to be kind of a trend lately. Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a video about a piece that I'm choreographing, which, you know, I'm at a point now where I'm almost done with that. And I just keep having this question go through my head about it. And it's the same question that I had going through my head when it came to that video that I recorded last week about the top 10 list. Is this actually any good? Like, I've spent several months now trying to choreograph this piece. It started off as just me, like, improvising around a song that I really liked and a few ideas that I thought were important. And now it's at a point where, as I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, I'm within sight of the finish line. But I'm also looking at all the pieces and being like, do these actually add up to anything? Like, is there actually a story or through line to this? Is this just me randomly vomiting up bits and pieces of movement choreography? And do they even have anything remotely resembling a coherent emotional statement coming out of them? It almost makes me tempted, to be honest with you, to like scrap the whole thing and start over. Like, take some of the choreography that I have and try and build it into something that has a slightly more coherent narrative to it, rather than just being stringing together all these individual moments that I thought looked really cool on video. Of course, this isn't the first time if I have wondered if the stuff that I have created is any good and have serious doubts about it. And Full disclosure, it also must be said that um, I am definitely in the initial stages of the seasonal depression that tends to visit me every fall and winter. And wondering if the stuff that I'm producing is any good is a regular fixture of those states. So it is entirely possible that this is me up in my head, but I don't think it entirely is. You know, for one thing, when it comes to the top 10 list video and talking about the validation economy, even I have to admit as I'm going back through the edit that like, these ideas are connected only very tentatively. And more than anything else, it seems like one of those moments where I was trying to have a teachable moment around something that I was working on, and I didn't quite think of how well the connective tissue was going to draw together for that. And I don't know, the dance piece that I'm working on is based around a lot of stuff that happened to me over the summer that just, quite frankly, wasn't very emotionally positive for me, and so maybe the fact that they are a bunch of seemingly disconnected moments is a part of what makes the piece really reflect what it was to live through that period. But like, the piece that I always wrestle with is that the stuff that I put out there into the world isn't just for me, it's also for all of you out there watching. I have to serve all of you, and yes, I have to serve myself, and sometimes I run into conflicts with that because 
I definitely have my own beliefs about like what I produce being good versus not. But frequently I discover that my beliefs about what I think makes good content don't always line up with that same belief for you all out there watching. Of course, legendarily, several years ago, I almost quit doing this channel because a flow video that I thought was so bad it shouldn't be posted and wound up posting anyway simply because my content schedule was empty wound up being the most popular thing I posted all year. So very frequently there's a disconnect between what I think is good and what some of you all out there think is good. And, you know, it's a thing that as a content creator it kind of comes baked into the pudding, so to speak, you know? Like, there are some videos that I just absolutely feel like I've made a huge creative leap with, you know. Last week, my video on uh, achieving perfection was definitely one of those. I thought that I grew so much as both a producer as well as an editor in creating that video. And it kind of eh, only did so-so in terms of uh, reaction through the audience. It's weird how that works. So part of me is like, maybe I should just release the things and let the audience decide for themselves whether what I produce is any good or not. After all, like the audience is ultimately the judge of what we enshrine in our culture as being the stuff that uh, we think of as being representative of a particular art or movement. And there's a part of me that wants to hold on to it and think like, okay, how can I put this out there in a way that like I think is good regardless of what happens on the other end? You know, especially with that piece that I've been choreographing, in my head I'm almost tempted to do both, like to release the version of it as is and then try to go back through and rewrite it with more formal structure to it and like actually compose it in more ways and just see what comes out of that, see how people feel about uh, having these two different options for what this piece can be. That's also going to be a whole heck of a lot of work though. You know what? Part of that too is that I'm trying to do some things with poi dance that I've never done before in terms of expressing emotion in a very, very raw manner and choreographing around that. Usually when I choreograph I'm just like doing stuff on the counts and this is very much not a piece that works like that. It's very expressionistic in that regard. And you know, I can't expect that the first piece that I write like this is necessarily going to be a masterpiece. Sometimes it takes you a few bits and pieces to get to where you're trying to go. And, you know, having some works in progress don't quite make it to the, you know, apex of your expectations is not the worst thing to have to go through in order to get there. And of course, ultimately, I could just be up in my own head about all of this, and it is just depression brain kicking in and telling me that the stuff that I'm doing is not as good as I would hope it to be. Sometimes it's hard to tell. For the time being, though, I do think that I'm going to rework the video about the top 10 and the validation economy into probably two separate videos. Either that or I'm going to try like writing a script for it formally and see if I can really connect the dots in written form. If I can't, then they should definitely be two different videos. Um, yeah, and I hopefully will finish up choreographing that poi piece in the next week here, and we'll see how I feel about advancing it to a point where I share it with the world, right? But what do you all think? Do you sit around wondering if the stuff that you produce is any good? Do you worry about how it's going to be received by the world? And do you worry that there is a disconnect between what you think is good and what other people think is good? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you got anything out of this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, uh, both to help other people find this video, as well as to help keep the conversation going and to help my channel grow. This video would not be possible were it not for the kind support of all of these lovely people right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon, and they, along with the people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on my channel possible. Thank you one and all for your very generous support. And if you out there watching like the videos that I produce and are not currently a supporter and would like to become one, you can do that by heading on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signing up. There you can get access to a whole host of awesome rewards and even better, you will be helping me out in my mission to try and bring poi spinning and flow arts to the wider world and help people connect their brains and their bodies as creative individuals. Go check that out, please and thank you.
And if you want to watch more videos where I'm deep in my feelings and talking to the camera about flow arts and the feelings that it brings up, while uh, I've got a whole bunch of other videos on that topic, I will link to a playlist of them down in the description as well as up on screen if you're watching on YouTube. Also, uh, based upon your past viewing habits, the YouTube algorithm thinks that you'll really like this top video too. So maybe give that a look as well. Um, in the meantime, uh, try and get out at least a little bit, even if the weather's pretty yucky. This walk did indeed improve my, uh, improve my mood a wee bit. Um, and I will see you with a new video on Wednesday then, yeah? Thanks for watching. Peace.